Hi, it's Russell from Voice Recognition Australia. I've had a question from a customer about what are some good settings in the options for Dragon for good performance. Well, the settings out of the box are pretty good, but we've found after training many users that there are certain settings you can look at tweaking. Uh, so I'll take you through how my personal Dragon Professional Individual 15 is set up. So you can go to the Dragon bar at the top and click Tools, then Options. And this will bring up the options uh, menu. So this is where we're going to look. Now I've got mine set different to default. I've, I've unticked the top section and ticked most of the, the section below it. I don't want to say select uh, a word and then have to say correct after that. I just want to say correct word. That's much more efficient and it's the number one change that I'm going to show you today. So when I correct the word, I'll open the Dragon Pad, start Dragon Pad. When I'm dictating directly into a document and an error presents itself, I want to be able to correct it as quickly as possible without saying multiple phrases, full stop. Full stop. Now, it probably won't make a mistake, so I won't get the opportunity to make a correction, full stop. But I will simulate this activity, full stop. Correct opportunity. Opportunity, go to sleep. So I'm straight into the correction. I don't need to say select opportunity and then correct that or choose from many options. It'll, it'll normally drop down a bar, which gives you a series of options. I don't want to make those extra steps. I want to jump on the correction, dictate the correction in here, uh, and then say choose one or two and be done with it. Wake up. Cancel. Let's get back into the options. So that's what that means. I don't, so that, that is a very efficient way of making corrections in my opinion and that's the no, number one takeaway. So correction brings up the spelling window, uh, correct brings up the spelling window. Um, spell means you can just spell a name or an acronym straight in, spell, and then ATO or whatever you want to do. It'll put the acronym in, saves a bit of time. Of course we want to add words to the vocabulary. I always tick playback on correction, that does not uh, that is not ticked by default. You heard my voice playing back before. That's because I want to hear what I've said. What if I go back to correct a word and in fact uh, it's not the word I thought it was. I've been mistraining Dragon. So I'd like to be able to hear my own voice. That's why I have it ticked. I anchor the corrections um, menu. so I could, That means I can move it around and stop it in a particular position um, and so forth. I will use enable double, to uh, enable double click to correct if I'm using transcription audio from here. Transcribe recording, if I'm, I'm using a recording from a voice recorder on my phone, then I can double click to make corrections really quickly or get a third party to do that. I'll talk a bit more about that later, that is a really important com component. Commands, now generally speaking do not change this pause before, pause required before commands, that will cause difficulties if you get it wrong. It's how long between it here, something like full stop, new paragraph. If you shorten it, it's listening for longer or short, shorter pauses and that will really um, cause issues with Dragon. So just leave that as a rule. I untick this require click to, so, to select hyperlinks. I don't want to say click this, click that. Same thing with menu items or boxes like down here. I don't have to say click OK or click cancel. I can just say OK or cancel. That can present a problem for some people. So then you would have to say click OK, click cancel. I don't like that, so that's why I've got it off. Web search. Uh, and desktop search, I have got that turned off. That will slightly improve the performance of Dragon because it's not listening for commands like search the web for X, Y, Z. So I don't use that command. Uh, I'll just dictate straight into Chrome. But that's what that's for and it slightly improves performance, so probably not by much to be honest. Uh, you can see the rest of my settings. More commands down the bottom right here. Now if you're not using these, turn them off because it will mean that Dragon's listening for more commands than it needs, it might slow it down. Uh, I generally just turn off the word perfect commands, I don't have it installed. The rest of it's fine. Uh, the performance with 15 is far superior to earlier versions of Dragon 13, 14. So there's not a huge amount to be gained from that. These are the limiters, that is the when you create macro commands, that's a bit where you can put in a variable. I won't get into that today, but that's actually really important and don't change that for now unless you know exactly what you're doing. Appearance, this is where you've got the dragon bar at the top. It's called modern. If I click Dr. Top, 
Then we're going to get this sort of dra this classic dragon bar at the top. It's got an extra bit you can drop down, uh, which is the show show extra component. I don't I, I do often use that, but at the moment I'm using the modern to get used to the new interface, which well it's been out for quite a few years, but so I'd recommend try to stick with that unless you're having some issues. Uh, I've got preliminary results ticked and anchor. That means you'll see the results. And this is how long till the results disappear. I'll show you that now. I'm now dictating and the ticker will appear. There we go. I call it the ticker, but it's like a ticker tape. It shows you the corrections, uh, it shows you the dictation rather. And I'd like to see what's happening. Otherwise you just get a little um, dragon symbol. So that's a personal preference. Uh, but that's generally pretty good. Hotkeys by default are not something you would normally change. The plus key is the large key on your keyboard on the far right on the numeric keypad. That's your on off button. I don't use the rest of these. I verbalize all these commands. So that's not necessary. If I'm using a handheld recorder, then the handheld recorder, a uh, handheld microphone or recorder will override some of these buttons anyway, whether it's a Philips or an Olympus unit. And you can see that in my other videos. Uh, so if you're using a, a laptop, you might want to turn that microphone off on off button, you might want to change that rather to a different key because you won't have a numeric keypad on many different laptops. So you might want to change that to something that's not in use much, maybe F10 or 11, something like that. You have to experiment for the best key for you, but that's very important if you've got a reduced keyboard. Text to speech and playback is a feature that a lot of people don't use. I do use it. I want to hear my own voice uh, when I'm making corrections. So I have this playback speed slightly elevated to 105%. Um, so that's my own voice when it's played back as a correction. The text-to-speech engine, I'll play it now for you. Press the read text button to hear the text-to-speech engine read the text in this box. So I'm not sure whether you got that, but it's reading this in quite a fast uh, way. If I do an email or a long uh, message uh, or Word document, I'll actually get Serena to read it back to me to see if I've made any grammatical errors. By listening to it, I can pick up on any mistakes, particularly like sounding errors. So you can actually speed that up to expedite that playback process. It sounds a bit funny, but your, your brain will process it easily. Um, so it certainly encourage you to do that. And you just say, uh, read that. Uh, highlight some text and say, read that. In this instance, if you want to hear your own voice, you say, play that back once you've highlighted the text. Miscellaneous, so this is useful. Some people like to have their microphone on when dragging boots. Fastest versus most accurate. So this is something that people do play with. I have it on most accurate because I'm running a reasonably fast computer. It's an i7, a couple of years old with 16 gig of RAM. And Dragon really flies. So why not shoot for the best accuracy if I'm not getting much of a delay? One of the big advantages of version 15 is it's much faster on existing hardware. So if you're coming off version 13 or 14, you'll find that Dragon is much faster. So you might as well shoot for better accuracy. It's, it's pretty hard to assess how effective that is, but um, certainly try most accurate and see what sort of response rate you're getting. Um, but you could slide it back to fastest. Now, the rest of the settings leave it by default. Now this is a bit more interesting. Playback, if you're using um, third party corrections, that means if you're handing off your Dragon documents for someone else to correct, which is not done very often, probably 1% of people, or using a voice recorder to, tr to transcribe audio, from your own, um, you know, your own voice or another trained speaker's voice, you might want to bump up the playback size um, because it will tell you it's running out of memory if uh, if the audio is really large. Save recorded dictation with document. This should be set to never. Otherwise, it will it will store a audio file with your document, and these become very large. And this will allow you to correct the document later on, or again have someone else correct it for you which is, as I said earlier, not that common. It will create a lot of files on your PC and fill it up. So unless you really know what you're doing with this setting and need that third-party correction, or you want to correct it later, set it to never. Automatically backup user profile. This is when Dragon exits every fifth time it, it saves a backup. If you're having a problem with Dragon, you should use the restore feature. So profile, restore user profile. It pulls from the backup. If the backup itself is damaged because you've corrupted the profile, perhaps you haven't been shutting your computer down properly. And then um, you don't realize that, 
then you will override your backup with a bad copy. So that's, that gives you five launches of Dragon before it overrides the backup. So that's really important. In some instances, some customers, I'll set that higher because it gives me a bit of, a bit more of a buffer to save their um, user profile or, or to restore it. If you have any more questions, give us a call on 1300 255 900 or visit our website voicerecognition.com.au. Thank you.